The 161st annual Victoria Highland Games and Celtic Festival are next weekend. They're the longest continually running Highland Games in North America. And as Tess shows us in this week's Vital People, they wouldn't be possible without the incredibly dedicated volunteers. From the cannon firing. Aim! Fire! And the pipe band spilling the field. To the Highland dancers. And the incredible feats of the heavy event athletes. The Victoria Highland Games and Celtic Festival is quite a spectacle. My favorite part is standing in the middle and watching 10,000 people enjoying all the very activities. Jim Maxwell's been the face and the heart of the Highland Games for more than two decades, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, it's almost a full-time job, even though it's volunteer position. Everybody in our association is a volunteer. You heard that right. The longest continuously running Highland Games in North America. This year is the 161st installment, are run completely by dedicated volunteers. We have a management team of about 40 people. They're all competent, passionate, and then we have about 200 volunteers that volunteer for the games itself. The 40 members of our board, they work all year long to put this on. But Jim is at the center of it all, and other board members are quick to point out the huge impact he's had. Oh, it's tremendous. I mean, without Jim's support and his, his vigilance, he's, he's at it. He lives and breathes the Highland Games. So without that level of commitment, I don't know where we'd be today. He's pivotal to the organization. You know, I mean, yeah, we all have our little parts to do, right? But he's just passionate about the Victoria Highland Games, you know, and it rubs off on everybody. Lori started volunteering because of Jim and his wife Donna and is a big believer in community building. I think just makes where you live a better place, right? And um, your just life enjoyment, right? To have different community events and, and Victoria really does seem to have some premier events. For Ingus, who's been a games volunteer for more than a decade, it's also about making a difference and giving back. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Like just the energy, the synergy of all the people coming together and watching it progress throughout the year, planning, takes so many people to pull it off. Volunteering is a fabulous uh, way uh, to feel good about yourself and give back to your community. And I really believe that. And I think all the people on my board are in the same position. As excitement builds for this year's event, Jim and his hardworking team of volunteers are already working on the 2025 Games. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.